afternoon ladies and gentlemen this is redberry leo here and welcome back to another quick video this is sort of cap related sort of other stuff related but the topic of this video today is talking about the incident command system courses that you can take and then towards the end of the video i will talk about the steps that are associated with taking your completion certificate and putting it into e-services, which is the Civil Air Patrol system for tracking your qualifications and the stuff that you have completed in order to finish all the requirements in getting those qualifications. The Emergency Management Institute that all of the ICS courses are run through is run through FEMA, which is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. And so for at least ICS 100, 200, 700, and 800, you can take them fully online. But the other ones, there is an in-person component that you are required to complete in order to have that certification done. Now, ICS 100 is typically the one that you would start with, and it just gives you a brief overview of everything that's associated with the incident command system. Please note that this is not just specific for Civil Air Patrol, because this is run by FEMA. So anyone who's doing emergency management, whether that might be like a state level person who's doing emergency management on their level or like a county official, this is a very typical course that people would take. And so it kind of walks you through like who's involved with the process and like what to do if there are reporters coming around and who should be talking to them versus what information you might be allowed to share or if you personally are allowed to share information or if it's specifically designated individuals in that structure in that system that are trained and qualified to present information about various scenarios that you might be encountering as you are doing emergency services in civil air patrol the process to actually get to the training is actually relatively simple if you just google ics 100 It'll actually be one of the first search results. The URL should look like training.fema.gov and then slash is and then just a whole slew of stuff. And there you can look at the right side of the window and there it will have information about how to take the course online. You do have to set up an account and then once you set up that account, you can take the course. There are sometimes questions interspersed throughout all of it. And then at the very end, you're required to take a final exam. And depending on how well you do on that final exam, you will receive a certificate in your inbox with the account that you established with that certificate for completing the ICS 100 course. Or if you're taking a different course than whatever course that you had just completed. If you have not passed it, then you do not receive a certificate. When you're taking your ICS 100, it should take about two hours, or at least that's what the website suggests. So when you are taking this course, make sure you, you do have about two hours allotted to be able to digest the materials, maybe consider taking notes. I know it's all virtual, and for me, when I am taking classes online, I typically try to write stuff down by hand because that just helps imprint the information into my brain rather than me just like look at the information and be like okay yeah that makes sense so that's just a small recommendation because the information is pretty useful especially if you do want to be actively involved with emergency services and a lot of the information that you see will be used and a lot of the information you see is useful especially for ground team leaders to know and then anyone higher up in the chain so that includes like air branch direct air branch director ground branch director the incident commander and everyone in between like it, it's very useful to know that whole structure especially if you're working with other agencies as well like if you're working with a dog team or if you are helping another or if you're supporting an exercise that multiple organizations are part of, like how do you transition between one organization to another being in charge of a site? That's something that's discussed. And as a ground team member, you may not necessarily need to know that information, but it's useful to know and you can help support your team. So in order to upload your completion certificate, you'll have to go into e-services, click on the little hamburger menu that says menu, and go down to operations and you'll look for operations qualifications after you get 
into operations qualifications, you'll have this nice screen that's pretty blank looking. You'll look for the drop down and it'll say ops quals. You click on ops quals, you'll look for squirter entry slash worksheet. And you'll go ahead and put your cap ID in. And let's say you're putting in your IAS 100. You click on GTM3 and one of the requirements is that you complete your IS 100 and your IS 700. So you would click on view slash update this achievement. You click on that and you can upload your certificate to that place. And then once you've done that, just make sure you hit okay, submit, and then it should be signed off by someone who is authorized to do so either in your unit or at the group level, probably at your unit, someone will handle it. So just as an overall summary of this video, we talked about how to get into the incident command system courses and that's run through FEMA. So you'll have to look through their website, make sure it's like that FEMA training.gov website. And then once you get in there, make sure it's the correct one that you are taking, whether that be 100, 700, 800, 200, whatever it is, make sure you're taking the correct one because it's an external organization. So sign up for the right one because they'll be like, oh, you're taking our course. Great. Good for you. So that's something to keep in mind. 100 is the introduction. And as you go through the different courses, some of them are in person where you have to do training in person where you simulate stuff and you practice together in that classroom environment. But at least IS 100 and 700 you can do online. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to include it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. And that is all folks until next time. Toodles.